but Revelation chapter 6, starting in verse 8, there's this profound passage in um, the Bible that's kind of beautiful and haunting simultaneously. And, and here's what it says, Revelation chapter 6, starting in verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with the sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beast of the earth. And when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the witness they had borne. They cried out with a loud voice, O sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Now listen to verse 11. Then they were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers should be complete who were to be killed as they themselves had been. The nations will be reached. They will be made glad in the Lord. The glory of God will cover the earth like the waters cover the seas. And there is an appointed number of martyrs to achieve that. And no one under the throne has regrets. No one under the throne has regrets. No one's under the throne going, Lord, I didn't get to get married. I didn't get to walk my daughter down the aisle. No, it's how long until justice prevails? Uh, how long till your rule and reign is known by all? How long? And the compassionate response from the king of glory is in a little while. In a little while. There's an appointed number of your brothers and sisters who will spill their blood to this end also.